like them because they keep your toes separated? What happens? They they grow together if you don't move, have those move, socks on? I can move my toes freely. It's nice. So I can like use my toes for buttons like that. Oh, oh that's why? Yeah, uh -huh. I can tie knots with my toes. Get out of here. Uh -huh. No, you can't. You can tie a union with them. No, you can't. Yeah. I don't even know. Do want to know how much time you wasted trying to learn how to tie a knot with your toes, man. Come on. Uh, my feet feel good. I feel sorry for people that wear shoes. Why do you wear this thing on your head, though? Because the sun's like super intense, and if, if I don't wear it, I'll fry. You'll fry? Yeah, I put sunscreen on. I'm kind of blonde. You're sorta. not that fair, are you? No, but but fair enough. Fair enough. You should be wearing sun protection all the time. You know that. Dude, you're too dark. No, I should too, man. You're like, you're like you're because like everything's bad for you now. If you look at the eclipse, you're gonna evaporate. Go blind. I looked at it. The trick was it's to look at it for a split second like that. I looked at it. I told my wife, I'm like, if all, what about all these ancient peoples who didn't have CNN and they look up at the sky? Are they going to go blind? Are they all walking around blind one entire generation? What of was people? the life expectancy of people back then? They're like 35, 40? So what? They weren't all blind. They looked at, dude. The, sun, they looked at the sun too much and they. they <laughs> That's why them. they died early. They killed them. Staring at eclipses, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. Ask me a real question. Huh? Oh, we're like, fishing. Why does the eelgrass grow so thick in this area? I don't know that question. Sorry. Give me something, man. Why aren't we catching any fish? That's my first question. Because I'm saving my area for tomorrow for the big event. <laughs> the tournament? Is there yeah, a prize for that tournament? It's a huge tournament tomorrow. No, but it's bragging right. Bragging rights, all right. That's huge in this group. Yeah. So you got one area and that's it? No. Let's hit one of the other areas, maybe, man. Why don't you help? Instead huh? of staying around the same way, we haven't caught any fish. Because this is more fun. More fun than fishing with Aaron Martin. What's some technical questions? Is busting on Aaron Martin. Do you have any technical questions you can ask? I do. What? Why is that swim jig a weird color? That's my first technical question. Because the pike bit my last one off. I'm running out of swim jigs. So I had <laughs> St. Clair tackle on my boat, and I don't have all my swim jigs with me. Okay. So I had a really couple really good ones, but I lost them to pike on this writer's conference and okay. Pike stole them. I've so, lost like six jigs since I've been here. So what is the optimum swim jig height from the top of the surface of the water? Oh, come on, that's a very huge. Come on, dude. Swim jig's very versatile. It's a very versatile, like right there, it's like a foot deep. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna keep my rod tip high yeah. my start, and then as I get out to the outside, I'll drop my rod tip, kind of like when you're cranking, you start shallow sometimes, you yeah. keep your rod high. Yeah. And as you go down, you dip your rod a little slower. You ever pop the swim jig? Oh yeah, like that. What does that do? It makes it pulsate through the water. That's how that last pike stole it. Really? Hey, he's all, <laughs> he got it and ate it next to the hook and there's nothing. It's like air. You can do a lot of things with some jigs. One of the most productive ways is like that right there. What's that? What's just that? just straight reel back? Straight reel. Uh -huh. Kind of like a spy bait. You know, spy bait you can put action into it, but it catches the most fish just really from there. So why, why a swim jig right here? Why aren't you flipping? Why because I can you? cover miles of water compared to flipping. I can cover three or four times as much water. So you're finding fish with a swim jig, not necessarily... Trying to find fish with a swim jig. Yes, that's what I meant. Today's kind of slow. Yesterday was really easy. I caught a bunch of fish yesterday. Really? Yesterday was wide open. Were they largemouth? Both. Yeah. When you catch largemouth and smallmouth on this stuff, that's really weird. Yeah. So what's your, what what weight of swim jig and what type of this trailer? This is a light one. This is like a quarter ounce. I got on 20 pound fluorocarbon. Yeah. Seven foot medium heavy rod. And you can fish a swim jig like a jig too, so sometimes I'll let it fall like that, yeah. work it. Yeah. I'm in a really good spot like that. Okay. High speed reels, very necessary. I use the Shimano Metaniums 8, 5 to 1. Yeah. But yeah, minimum minimum 8 to 1 if you can get it. Do you have any extra metaniums? Because those are pretty sweet reels and I need to no, go. I usually go through them pretty good. You do? No, but I keep them all as I need them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I use a lot. Of I use a lot of reels sometimes. That was just a fish, I think, right there. You like that catfish? That's a catfish could again? Be a gar. It could be a gar. All right. That's could amazing, man. It could be a gar. Fish sense. No. Yeah. It just wasn't a bass. The bass is getting excited. I haven't got excited from any of these fish jumping. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me ask you this. You love fishing so much, you decided to go into bass fishing and become a pro bass fisherman. Yeah. Why? Probably because I love fishing outdoors. But well, you love fishing for anything, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. 
I thought I was going to be a saltwater captain. You did? I thought I was going to have my own boat someday and charter saltwater, but... How did you get ruined by bass competition. fishing? Yeah? I love competing. Wait, well, you were an athlete in high school too, right? Volleyball. Volleyball? Yeah, but yeah. I, never, I never really played in high school because I fished tournaments instead. Oh, it got in the way? Yeah. There you go. My dad was very upset about that. Your dad? Uh-huh. Why, was he a big volleyball player? Yeah, bug? he wanted to see me go play like uh, in competition. Yeah? But it worked out good with fishing though. Yeah, it did? Yeah, I guess it's better. Because I can make money at volleyball probably. I don't know, man. It'd Some... be really good. I don't know if I mean, I was good. I don't know if I was that good. Maybe. Yeah. Are you killing it in fishing? At times. At times. The last few years, I think it's just been kind of more average. But... Dude, you just won a tournament. Yeah, I think you won a tournament. You can turn an average year into a pretty good year. Yeah. But before that, I was pretty much struggling. I mean, I did good at St. Lawrence. I mean, I've done good. I missed a few, though, this year. I missed them bad. Yeah. I got, I got, like Ross Burnett, I had one of the best practices I've ever had, and I'm, I was almost last place, so I got almost zero points for that one. Come on. Yeah. Well, how did that happen? What happened? I don't know. Uh, maybe the storms we had the night before. Oh, yeah. I was fishing, I was the only guy in the lake, which was amazing, because I was catching over 20 pounds a day pretty easy. That was just one of those weird deals. Like the, maybe the weather pushed them off the bank, I don't know. Does that, that ever make you nervous, dude, when you're just crushing them in practice? Do you feel like you might be getting on the not, fish that are going away instead of not coming Not at the in? time, you don't think of that, no. No? Uh-uh. You're just super excited? Yeah, you're excited about starting it. I mean, me and Chris Lane were uh, talking about it. We were on the same deal in the lake, and we both bombed. Oh, yeah? We both sucked it up there, so... No, at the time, you were super excited about starting. You don't think it's going to change, but... At that time of year, it shouldn't have. It's already, you know, past... What, past postpone, pretty a couple months past spawn. So I mean, they're already kind of established. They're just catching them real shallow grass down to about three feet, one to three feet, flipping a big weight. Yeah. Just covering water and making a ton of pitches, and it was just working really well. I was getting probably 25 keeper bites a day. Wow. I couldn't get any in the tournament. I think I caught like two or three a day, or four a day, or something. Why aren't we getting any keeper bites right here, man? There's no fish around here. There's no fish here. Probably not. Dude, Cat I find fish. that hard to believe. A lot of catfish. Or what if you, what do you, if this was a tournament, what would you, at this, you would have already given up on this spot, right? I'd be going where I caught him yesterday, yeah. Huh? Which is right down there. It is? Uh-huh. Come on, dude, let's go down there for oh, a little better bit. better spots to be found. Huh? I already know about those fish. I need to find more. Well, I mean, we've seen no activity except for your alleged catfish. Look at that guy fishing a jerk That guy's bait. fishing something really fat. He is wailing on it. Maybe they can learn from that local guy. Not that I watch guys. But you know what he's doing? He's shaking the bait like you like to do. He's get. shaking a, uh, like a big soft jerk bait, which is like, you can do that too, like with a jerk bait. What? Soft jerk bait, yeah. Wait, I, I think he's fishing a frog, that guy. He's, he's fishing let's a go, frog. Let's, that's go, that's go, let's go interview him real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's fishing a crackhead frog, man. <laughs> I think it's flying. <laughs> let's go interview him and ask him. Yeah, you want to interview Aaron Martin? He, I don't know, man. He might be in like a witness protection they program. Look like they look like kids to me. They're young. Huh? They're young. Oh, young man. fishermen. I think they watch all the fishing shows. They probably know who you are. Now. You know what? They're going to come over here because they know who you are. They're gradually getting closer. They are. They are. Yeah. Are they? You know, the problem is that nobody can see your face. So it's honestly. too hot to show my face. Right but he now. does have his last name. You see on that it. reflection right there? That's crazy and like bad for you. What? That, see the sun right there? Yeah. Yeah. Are we going blind from that? No, don't look at it. So Jay, why don't you fish professionally? Me? You're so good. Because I stink. No, I don't doing? stink, but I'm not, I'm not. Oh, oh, come on. Pike, Catch pike. up to him. Pike, pike. pike? That's a bass, look at that guy. Yeah, buddy. Back on some dude. Take that. Skating back here. Swim jig. Yeah, not bad, good job, man. He's tiny, he's not gonna do me any good tomorrow. So like if that was my littlest one, I'd be all right. Yeah, do you see how they're short? Like they're short and stubby? Not, well, the ones on the grass are, the ones on the river are like, Long? They're, they're thinner, they're not that thick. Yeah, the one, that's why I'm fishing the grass more. The river fish can catch a bunch of Pretty little river bass. Them apples, man. Pretty little river bass, it's pretty good. See, now you thought that was a pike and it was a bass, well, so that I've catfish. Well, I've caught like three pike in a row today. I'm kind of thinking everything's a pike in this river. That catfish back there could have been a bass. That was on a steady reel, by the way. That was not? Yes. It was or was not? It was 
on a steady reel. Okay, so now that's what you're doing? Well, that's all you need to do some big most of the time. <laughs> the only time you're going to do this a lot is when you're getting in the grass, you're coming through grass really bad. Yeah. And it seems to help break the grass free so you can keep the bait clear of grass. Okay. How about but caffeine? Like if you had too much caffeine. You might shake a little bit. Yeah. Be but vibrant. most of the time that swim jig will work just fine. It's real nice. Steady reel. And not a chatterbait style bait? Bladed jig through mm, here? Bladed jig would be great if the wind was blowing harder. We had some weather come in. Yeah. But as clear and calm as this water is, I guess you're better off with a swim jig or a swim bait. Or like even swimming like a little trail tail worm, like a like a cutter worm or like a speed speed worm with like a quarter ounce on like 14 pounds. Just get in here and reel it slow to the grass. That'd be a really good way of catching this fish. Really? And then how about how about the old school spinner bait? Does that ever see the light of day anymore? Yeah, of course it does. I caught him at a, well, that's what I put to my finger last week. Um, I caught him pretty good at St. Clair in practice. We had really bad, we had bad weather. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when the weather's right, spinnerbaits always, always can be productive. But usually a spinnerbait you need a little bit of a ripple. I mean, there's been times when I've crushed him on calm conditions like this, but. Well, isn't this a ripple right here? Or uh, not a ripple? Not enough these, ripple? Yeah, if these fish can need a little more for a blade jig or a, a spinnerbait. Really? Yeah. Okay. You let him talk to you, you know that. Not like you know yeah, that. That's why not professional. Professional fisherman. Maybe you lack the experience and, and the knowledge. Yeah. But you talk so much about fishing, it should be really good. Do you ever go to like your kids' sports or whatever and people ask what you do and you say you're a professional bass uh -huh. fisherman? All the time. And they're, are they, what's their reaction? Uh, out here it's more like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, in California they're like, they look at you like they never heard of that before. Yeah. So they're like, we talk about fish for a living. You, you know? <laughs> no, like fish, like competition. It, it, that they explain it to them. Out here, it's like people know about it. So out here, you mean the East Coast? Just anywhere, probably east of the Mississippi, that people kind of know fishing. Yeah. In general, yeah. Even people live in New York City and stuff. Yeah. I probably heard it at a time. It kind of, not all of them, but a lot more know about it. Is there ever a follow-up question like, oh, uh, that's cool, what is your blah, blah, blah? Do like, you make money doing it? <laughs> do, do they say that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just tell them I've done all right. Yeah, cool, man. Find out as well as you, but I've done all right. Really? I don't know. A lot of people listen to make millions of dollars, all the houses I see out there. What? There's a lot of money out there. Professional fishing? I don't know what they do. Professional make money. Oh, yeah. Dude, any lake you go to, there are like million dollar houses. Everywhere. Yeah. Crazy. So don't ask me why I'm switching right now because I just do it. Well, what? What is? How's that gonna help anybody? What do you mean you just do it? Oh look at this. You got like a, you got pan this stuff for fishing. You got what? You got pan around to over fishing. Like you got these little clumps of grass. The water shifted, start blowing into this backwater right here, and you got these little mats everywhere. So that's why you did it. Well, yeah. That's what's that? Even though it's only a foot and a half deep. And their blackbird just flew off right there. there That's the your pattern, man. From you see the blackbirds right there? Where was that? Where did you win that Way tournament? too late in the year for that. Huh? Uh, that was uh, Havasu. Havasu. But uh, that's not the first time I've done that. What, what was your bait again? Were you flipping? Uh, one ounce with a... Oh, man, that's not my braid rod. Really. Um, one ounce with a... What the hell in there? A menace and a z-cross? Yeah. And you were literally trying to mimic blackbirds, or did you just no, make that up? I was just fishing the area where the blackbirds were at. Okay. Probably looked like a crawdad too. I think he did to me. I mean, I'll hang up. It's actually shallow right here. 